Hi guys, it's Hope. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I created these embroidered sweatshirts. I first print out a blank sheet of graph paper because this helps me figure out the size that the logo needs to be. After you print your graph paper, you can count the number of boxes that the logo would need to be. Then I copy and paste the logo that I want onto the graph paper. And then I resize the logo to fit the number of boxes. For example, in this clip, I made sure that the logo fit into 20 boxes wide and 6 boxes for the height. You need a sweatshirt, graphite paper, a sharp pencil or pen, tape, scissors, an embroidery hoop, thread, needles, and the image you just printed. And then this is optional, but you can also use a needle threader to make things easier. So the first step is to tape your logo to the graphite paper and for mine the speckled side should be the one that's touching the logo and then the solid black is the one that would touch the fabric. The and then position the logo onto the shirt and start tracing over the letters with a lot of pressure. It also helps to put a harder surface like a book inside the shirt. Once you're done tracing you can just peel it off. And then grab your thread and cut some off to work with. I usually use about 40 inches. As you can see, embroidery thread has six mini strands and I split them into three groups of two strands. And you do this by pulling them apart while twisting the other end, but be careful because splitting the thread can cause knots. And then I just put the thread through the needle and I used a needle threader to make it easier. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like Then I joined the two ends of the string to tie a knot onto the end and now it has four strands instead of two. So now you just have to position the embroidery hoop onto the shirt by putting one end of the hoop inside the shirt and then the other end on top and then tightening it. And then you just have to start threading the needle back and forth within the lines. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but personally I liked going from side to side. And this step takes the longest so I just watched some YouTube videos while I do it. And for this specific font style, I did the bottom part of the letters like on the H in the opposite direction, so I went up and down versus side to side. And then when I start to run out of thread on my needle, I go to the inside of the shirt and then I tie a knot to secure it. So you pretty much just continue this and then once you're done, you can take off the hoop and this is how it looks. And here's another one that I did. And as you can see for this one, the design didn't transfer that well, so I have to go back and retrace it. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. 
Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. And the rest is pretty much the same steps, but I just included the clips in case you want to see the direction that I threaded the letters in. For example, the O is a little different from the other direction. And here are some clips from my Instagram and TikTok. Red and orange, so bay, like it is a. 